To apply a material in Onshape, select one or more parts from the Parts list or from the Graphics area, right click and select Assign Material. Here you will find over 150 materials and material grades that you can use to assign mass properties to your chosen parts. However, this list does not include every possible grade of material. So now, in Onshape, it's possible to add custom material libraries. If you use lots of grades of plastics from different suppliers, for example, you can add them to your library and share them with others, so you can always find the exact material you need. Let's rewind back to the start to see how to create your own custom materials. If you go to the public document filter and search for the standard material library called std.mat, then open it, you'll find the Onshape standard materials library listed in a table. Here you will see all the ceramics, composites, metals, plastics and wood materials provided by default. Each material has a category, a name or description, and a density in kilograms per meter cubed. You can display the density in pounds per inch cubed, but the actual density value stored in the library is always kilograms per meter cubed. This table cannot be edited directly, but if you want to create your own library based on this one, you can right click on the element tab and select export. This will download the table in CSV format, so you can edit it in a spreadsheet. The first row contains the column headers for category, name and density. You are free to edit any of the table cells below the headers and add or remove items to create a new custom library. You can add every possible material you may ever use to one large library, or you can create many smaller libraries and split them up by category or supplier. When applying a material, Onshape will let you search by category or name, so you can use the category to search for similar materials. In this example, you could put the category as nylon, but the search would find all nylon materials from the description anyway, so you could use the category to group materials by supplier. Once your table is complete, export it in CSV format. Back in Onshape, create a new document and give it a name. This name can be anything you want, the .mat extension is not required. Once the document is open, go to the plus icon in the lower left corner and select Create Material Library. This will create a new element in your document similar to the one we saw earlier. The standard Part Studio and Assembly tabs can now be deleted if you want. Above the table are a set of instructions on how to create and add your library. There is also a link to the help documentation and you can download a sample library as well. To populate a library, right click the Element tab, select Update, then browse for the file you created earlier. Renaming the tab will assign a new name to your library which will be used later. You can create as many material libraries as you want in the same document, so you could have one for plastics and one for metals. As with any document that needs to be referenced by others, you need to create a version. Finally, if you want your colleagues to use this library, make sure the document is shared. You can share it with individuals, a team, or the entire company. And if you don't want others to edit these materials, you can set the document to view only. Now when you apply a material to a part, you can use the standard Onshape library to select a generic grade of material, or you can add one of your custom libraries by clicking the Add Material Library button. You can use any of the standard filters to find libraries that were created by you or have been shared with you, and you can add as many libraries as you wish. Your selected library will now be available every time you edit a document. To test your new material, select the part from the parts list, then click the Mass Properties icon in the lower right corner. The mass displayed is now more accurate. To manage your custom material libraries, click your name in the top right corner, select My Account, then Preferences and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here you'll find a button to add new libraries and buttons to remove existing ones, including the Onshape standard library if you so choose.